today's video, I'm going to be building a Bloxburg house, except I cannot delete anything I place down. For example, if I place a door I don't like, I can't undo it. And I can't even press the undo button. And to make this more difficult, I invited you guys onto the server to make sure I don't cheat. So if you guys want to be in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a few people on the server waiting for me to build. We've got a whole UFO spaceship over here. Okay, well, let's start building. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Look at all these people. It's going to be really difficult for me because if you didn't know, one thing I suck at is doing floor plans. I feel like a nice two-story suburban style home would look good. So maybe a wall here. I don't, I'm scared. Once I place it down, I can't unplace it. First wall, I'm scared. <laughs> Someone goes, a wall. Oh my God. Maybe this here can be like the living room. I don't know how big I want this. And then we also need the entryway. So I can free blocks is good enough for the entryway. We can also have like a little porch out here. Maybe this back here can be like the kitchen or the living room. I don't know because I'm all flat floor plans. Actually, let's open the chat. Let's see what they're saying as I'm building. I have never been this scared to build a house in my life. I was like, once I place things down, I can't unplace it. We're also going to be making this two story. So <sighs> I'm scared. I guess we'll just copy like the first floor. Okay. Now for the roof, I think we're just going to play it safe and pick a gable roof because I am literally too scared to add anything else. <laughs> I'm so nervous with you guys watching me. Why did I decide to do this? Oh, someone goes, you better not delete anything or I'll come for you. Wait, I don't like the way this looks. Hold on. Wait, this kind of looks stupid. I don't know what I've done. I feel like I messed it up. For the walls, I feel like we should go blue this time. I don't know why, but I'm feeling blue planks today, like dark blue. Oh, I already pressed done. I'm so stupid. Oh, I guess that is our color. Oh my gosh, wait, no. No, what did I do? These walls were meant to be a different color than the rest of the house. I'm so stupid. Well, guess what? We're gonna have a full blue house today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you know what? It doesn't look too bad. Maybe if I add pillars and windows, it'll just make it look better. Or maybe it'll look worse. Who knows? Now, for these pillars, I want white pillars. Because I feel like the blue is making this house too dark. I don't know why I decided to go blue. No one... I'm so dumb! I just placed a... I'm actually losing my mind. I just placed a pillar in the middle of nowhere. Now, I can't press undo now. You know what? We can fix this. You guys don't understand. I just slapped my face so hard when I done that. I'm just like... You know what? We're just going to put a roof here and we're just going to pretend this is a little balcony. Like, who's going to know? No one. See, boom. Totally fix that up. Maybe by adding wall trims, this will help. I think it helped a little bit. I should have made this a balcony. Did you ever just do something and you're just like, why did I do that? That's going to be me this entire video. Okay, now to add some windows. Actually, first we need to figure out where the front door is going to go before anything. This is the entry area here. So I reckon the door can go here and we'll just use traditional windows because they kind of go with the theme. This is so scary because all of you guys are watching me. You know what? If you guys could politely stop staring at me, that would be great. Alaska, the house looks kind of goofy. Stop. Okay. Garage door. Wait, was this the garage? No. Do you've noticed what I've done? I placed a wall here without separating these two. So these, this has to remain a blue wall. Great. That's that's just great. Oh, and I did say I want a porch at the front. So you know what? We can have like a porch that wraps around the house. My hands are like shaking because I don't want to mess up. I like barely build suburban houses. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know if those linen fences go with the blue house. It's not like we can delete it, can we? No. I feel like we need a slanted roof. Oh, I didn't realize how dumb this is going to look because it's already a slanted roof. Actually, instead of these massive pillars, we're going to use rustic columns and do something like this. It's also blocking the door. Okay. I'm literally so embarrassed right now. It's not even funny. You know what? I'm just going to fix up this balcony and just hope for the best. I don't like the fact that you can see the roof from the first floor. So I'm just going to place a all traditional molding up the top. And I'm just going to do that along the roof. I feel like we need a tree out here. Pigeon cult. Why is there a pigeon cult going on? Maybe like a cute rocking chair for old granny. This is risky, but we're also going to place structural beams on the roof. Because right now the house is looking a little bit plain and boring. That is uneven. Um, it's fine. They're not going to notice. They're definitely going to notice. Actually, you know what? Instead of a fence, we're going to have a garden out here. Garden's actually really easy. I just place like a bunch of random plants and just call it a day. I feel like we should have a swing set at the front because this is a like suburban house. And you know what? Another thing we can have out here is a picnic table. I need to make sure like I place this symmetrically. Okay. And there we go. We've got our outdoor table. Okay. So I think the outside of the house is done. So now we can finally start working on the inside, which is kind of what I've been dreading, but we're going to make it work. Oh, okay. I did want to have detailed flooring, but the problem is with detailed flooring, if I don't place it the right way, it'll end up looking like this. So you know what? We're not going to risk that today and have detailed flooring. Okay, before anything, first thing we have to place is the stairs because that kind of maps out where we want everything. And now for the floor on the second story, <laughs> this is literally going to be consisting of my bedroom and my office. <laughs> what is this? Um, have you seen this man? Wears suit and glasses. Um, I don't I've never seen this person in my life. Back there. 
hair is not real. <gasps> that is so funny. Okay, anyway, to keep this as safe as possible, we're just gonna stick to white walls and add like a few feature walls here and there. Well, I'm thinking like green, like a nice green feature wall. And hopefully it will look good because we can't remove it. Ha ha ha. Look at the chaos over here. Help my cat sleeping on my bum. Well, that sounds like a you problem. I don't know why, but making the outside was so stressful. I was literally shaking in my boots. I'm shaking in my custom baby seal leather boots. Look at these creeps. Is that a lizard? Is that a chicken? You guys actually amaze me about where you find these outfits. The interior is kind of small, so I might place a console table underneath the staircase. Oh my gosh, I have never been so paranoid to place things in my life. Every time I go to place things, I'm like, wait, is that correct? But you know what? So far, we haven't made any like major mistakes yet. I say yet because I feel like I'm definitely going to make one soon. I meant, no, I'm not. I would never. Actually, where can we place our slippers? I feel like we need a shoe compartment. Maybe if I put like three hex shelves here and then fill them with slippers and because this first floor is kind of like a balcony, we're going to have a fancy chandelier. Actually, hopefully you don't hit your head on the chandelier. Oh, I might have placed that too close to the stairs, but it is too late to fix it. Okay, so we can put a lamp here with a vase underneath. The reason I put the vase underneath the lamp is so I can have like a custom lamp moment. I also realized that I chose the wrong lamp because this vase does not fit. That looks like an egg. It just looks like a cracked egg. You know what's embarrassing? The fact that you guys have to walk in at the end of the video and have a look at what I've done. I'm just gonna be like, oh, I didn't build this house. My cousin did. Then finally a railing so we don't, you know, fall off the stairs and die. That wouldn't be fun. Okay, the last thing we need in our entry area is like an ottoman to change our shoes and a coat rack. I wish you could place things on top of this coat rack. That would be so cool. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Okay, transparent cube like this. And then using transform tool, we place this right up against the coat rack. And then hopefully you can just place a towel on top like this. And then boom, we have a little coat on the coat rack. If someone uses that build hack, you better say Alaska Violet made that. Okay, so there we go. Our beautiful entry area is all complete. So now we can move on to the kitchen and the kitchen is going to be all back here. So kitchens are pretty simple. I don't think I'm going to mess up on this. Hopefully. All we need really is like, uh, why did I have a mental blank? What do we need in a kitchen? Oh, cabinets. Lately, I've been obsessed with these like all arched cabinets. I don't know why. They just look so cool. And I feel like I need to start using stuff that I don't use. Why did I place that down? This looks ridiculous. We have three different different cabinets up here. We can use the matching arched counters and add two like so. What I love about the arched island benches is the fact that they have a little stick at the end. I think that's so cool. And honestly, every single time I think of traditional suburban kitchen, I just think of white kitchens, to be honest. And then we can just make the countertops out of marble. There we go. We've got a very fancy looking kitchen. Why did I just sound like Jafar from Aladdin? Wow, guys, can you believe I haven't messed up the kitchen yet? Okay, but before we forget, we do need a sink. Lately, I've been obsessed with adding the sink on the island benches. I don't know why. It just looks better. Wait, why do I like not hate this kitchen yet? I usually struggle so much when building my kitchens. It's not even funny. Half of the time, I'm just like, what am I doing? Help. Should we check what's going on outside? The squirrel coat is still going. Okay. Okay. So three chairs, bada beam, bada boom. Wait, did I place these correctly? Oh my, they're not centered. That is driving me insane. I didn't place the chairs in center because I'm a fool. The more simple this kitchen, the better it's going to look. Also the least mistakes we're going to be adding. So I need to start adding more photo frames in my build. I've say, I say that every single time and I never add them. Okay, what am I missing in this kitchen? We need our spices. I'm Portuguese, so we add spices on literally everything. But we can't forget our peanut butter and jelly setup. I promise you guys, I will make peanut butter and jelly when I'm making a video, but I have to be home for that to happen. Good news is though, we get new carpet on Monday, so hopefully I should be home on Monday and I get to see my cats again. I actually miss them so much. Oh, I just placed the toaster the wrong way. It's fine. Who's gonna notice? You guys are gonna notice. I just came out to see what you guys are up to. Why is there a chicken bum in my face right now. Okay, now for the lighting because as you can see, it's like super dark in here. I feel like the geometric chandeliers would actually look kind of cute. So we're gonna have like three of them so they're nice and symmetrical. I'm actually sweating doing this challenge. You guys do not understand. Now, opposite of the kitchen, this is where we want to have the dining room. So we're gonna do the dining room a little bit different than we usually do it. So back here is gonna be like a booth just by adding reclining leather chairs. And then we're just going to make a custom dining table. This better work. If it doesn't, that's gonna be awkward. I just realized that's kind of blocking the living room, but YOLO. And then just filling in the table with some lace mats. The dining table back here is a little bit empty. So what I'm gonna do is just fill this in with books. 
books because you know what books just help anything look good if something's looking bad you know what you do you add some books that is not symmetrical I, okay okay now we've got the living room make this a suburban living room we need a big chunky fireplace i haven't used this stone fireplace in a while so we're gonna add it let's just hope i don't regret that decision i don't know why but building a suburban living room is like so fun because there's literally like so many different things you can do i wish i didn't place windows at the back here because i would have liked to place like a bookshelf well i mean i guess we can place a bookshelf here the only problem though is that it's inside of the dining table maybe some tissues for when we cry which is what i will be doing if i miss this challenger another thing i add in my bookshelf to fill them up is these like storage cubes because they take up like a bunch of space which is really good oh no i just realized the material of the carpet and the dining table are the same that looks so dumb i feel like traditional houses usually use these fancy armchairs and just like two contemporary armchairs we're gonna like mix it up a little bit i don't want a super big living room so this actually works out well and then just like some carpets okay i just placed the pillow on the floor i feel like a tv should be up there because it's just so awkward but, like we can't place the big one actually yes we can we're placing the big one who says we can't now typically i would make a custom made dining table but i'm not gonna lie to you kind of lazy today we're just having a glass dining table okay and i think that is our dining room all complete so now we have the bathroom which is back here but first we need a door i don't know why i made the bathroom so hidden i don't even know how people are gonna find this oh this house looks so much better than mine look at this we have this beautiful house over here and then we've got like this flop i low-key wish i went with white but oh well too late now every suburban bathroom i feel like has this cloudy gray wallpaper i know it's risky but we're gonna have a cloudy gray wallpaper why because no i actually just painted the window cloudy gray <laughs> no i can't go back either oh well i guess we're just gonna have to have a cloudy gray window that's just so fun okay now for the shower we're gonna be fancy we're gonna have two showers in here so i feel like every suburban house i go to always has two shower heads i don't know why and then we can fill in these shelving units with soap and our toothbrush in here because i feel like everyone should just brush their teeth in the shower to be honest just hear me out okay i just feel like it would save you more time that's my only defense it just saves you more time okay and to make this bathroom nice and secluded we can have a wall here and just place a big modern window and then that way we can have the toilet like right next to the door the reason i'm putting it right next to the door instead of like over here is because that's where it should be i'm so paranoid when i go over to someone's and their toilet is like on the opposite end of the door i'm just like what if they come in and again more paintings in here now that i'm looking at it why did i paint this bathroom cloudy gray this looks so stupid i'm losing, I'm losing my, mind. my mind okay what else oh yes mirror so you know stare at ourselves all day now usually what i do to lighten up the mirror is place like two wall lamps right next to it and it just like lightens it up a little bit okay so that is everything we need in the bathroom however the lighting is still a little bit funky so i'm just gonna place a chandelier in the middle i hate the wall color why did i do that actually we can fix the wall color you know what we're just gonna add standard rail moldings at the bottom and make this out of tiles that looks worse <laughs> you did this for what why why not Okay, what if we add some, like, LED lights to the mirror? Actually, you know what? It kind of did help. Oh, you know what I nearly forgot? Uh, towels. Hello. Okay, I've got a bunch of toilet paper. I don't know why I decided to add so much. Now, the last room we have downstairs is the garage. And to keep it safe, I'm just going to copy these bookshelves at the front. That way, I don't place anything and, like, mess it up. Oh, that actually messed up perfectly. My mind always goes blank when I do a garage. Guys, what things should I add to my garage? Car. Yeah, thank you for that. Crates. Fridge and counters. Okay, Everyone's just saying up, down, all around, all together now. Up, down, up, down, all together now. You guys have officially lost the plot. Okay, crates was kind of a good idea. We can add a few crates. Someone also said to add a bike. So I reckon if I put a shelf here. Oh, and then I can add a bike on top. That's kind of cool. Okay, actually, I'm pretty sure someone said a sink. Some people have sinks in their garage. So sure, we can have a little sink here. Now that I think of it, we don't actually have a laundry room. So I guess this can kind of be the laundry room. And we can just place like a bunch of soaps up here. I'm pretty sure all the laundry stuff is in household. We'll just put like a stacked washer and dryer like that. Okay, and there is our garage all complete. So now we have the second floor and the second floor consists of my bedroom and my office excuse me why are you blue why are you blue okay so our office is gonna go here we're actually gonna make our office out of basic shapes and just hope that we don't mess it up i don't know why i placed down this convey straight because i can't delete it i just don't know where to put it that looks so dumb why did i even place that down that literally like makes no sense and i want this entire back bit here to be like all storage another thing we need on our desk is folders i didn't even know blocksburg had folders well they also have some organizers we love me a messy desk actually no my desk in my office is actually so 
clean. And we're also going to make this back bit custom wallpaper. And then the last thing we need on our desk is obviously the computer. Our cute little MacBook, if you will. And a big comfy chair. We're actually going to use this sophisticated chair. I just feel like if this was my office, I would definitely want this as my chair. Okay, and I think that is our office all done. It's kind of simple, but that's what I was aiming for. Like, tell me you wouldn't snuggle up into that and just play The Sims all night. Anyway, now we have my room, which I am kind of scared about. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm going to mess up on my room. Usually it takes me deleting and then replacing things like 10 times for me to actually like what I place, but I can't do that, can we? I don't know why it's like so dark in here, but I need to fix that right now. Okay, so lastly, we have my bedroom. Now we've got this little section here. We can either make this a closet or a reading nook. And my heart wants me to do a reading nook, so that's what we're going to do. I don't even think we have room to add a closet, to be honest. Is that a duck? Guys, look at the duck. He's just running. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Man is on a mission right now. Anyway, scratch that. I do know where to add my wardrobe. I think I'm just going to place like two drawers like this and then place a wall. Oh god, I messed up, didn't I? I messed up. No, it's okay. You know what? We can still fix this. I'm just going to pretend this is a sliding door. Okay. Oh my god. Look at all of you guys at the back of the plot. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Can you guys see that? Oh my, what even is that? I'm scared. I kind of messed up with this closet. I'm not going to lie. So hopefully we can fix it. I'm just going to put a thin square beam here and kind of make a fake door handle. I mean, it kind of worked. Okay, now back here, this is where I want to have the reading nook. So all I do to make a reading nook is just place two simplicity chairs and then go in with a smooth cube and use the advanced placement to fill in this entire gap and then just like stack it with pillows and blankets. I so want one of these in my future house house like so bad every time i go on pinterest and i see a reading nook i am just so jealous but then again like when do i ever read i used to read all the time not gonna lie until one day i kind of just stopped now to really make this a reading nook obviously we need to add books oh my gosh that actually looks so cozy maybe just a few curtains we can also have like a plain arch right here i'm literally obsessed with using plain arches i use them all the time we can also have some like candles up here you know what this is reminding me of halloween halloween's coming up soon and i am so excited we actually never celebrate halloween in australia but this year i'm getting into the halloween spirit i'm also just going to copy this console table from the entryway now finally we just need to add my bed we can either add my bed like this or we can have it along here here. You know what? We're going to have it along here. This way we can fit a vanity table in this corner. I'm going crazy. Why did I choose this bed? I don't even like, oh my god. That's her table. Boom. You know what? Instead of a lamp, I'm actually going to have a lava lamp. I don't know if you guys remember that I bought a lava lamp a couple months ago. Do you guys want to know what happened to that lava lamp? It got sent to the wrong address. Yeah. Okay. Now the last thing I need to add in my room is obviously a vanity table. And this would definitely look good like right here with a fancy stool, just a bunch of different makeup products. You know what? Surprisingly, even though I couldn't delete anything. I feel like we're not going too bad. I feel like the house definitely could have looked worse. I don't like the way the outside turned out. That's because I suck at freestyling floor plans. All right, so the Bloxburg house, but I can't delete anything, is finally finished and comes to a total of 178,000. For some reason, I absolutely hate the outside. I don't know why I chose blue, but um, I think it's finally time to invite you guys inside. So are you ready? Honestly, this is like my favorite garage that I've done so far. I don't know why I added so many books in here, but everything else turned out pretty cool and then coming inside the first thing we have is the entry area <laughs> oh my gosh is that a lizard how did you get up there anyway this is the entry area and then we have our cute little suburban kitchen oh i forgot to change these photos okay let's see what new alaska violet photos you guys have came up with oh okay we've got a bunch of new contenders today what is this out of all the photos you choose to screenshot you choose to screenshot me brushing my teeth you know what guys no i'm gonna pose for you boom screenshot this and turn this into a decal. I better see that next time. Now, surprisingly, I did not mess up on the kitchen. I thought I would. I placed down everything that I needed and I didn't have to delete anything. Then over here, we've got the living room. So yeah, the living room is kind of small, but I think it's cute. The only thing I messed up on with the living room was adding a pillow on the floor. I also kind of ran out of room for my dining table. So I just like snuck it in this corner, like right here. And I mean, it definitely fit. Okay, and then <gasps> how did you get in here? Get out of my house. Oh my God, he's about to box me right now. He's got boxing gloves. Take this. Oh, why does this lizard have a six pack? <laughs> Okay, and then over here, we have the bathroom. I don't know why I decided to choose cloudy gray. I should have went for white, but I was trying to be quirky. Another thing I messed up on was adding so many toilet papers. I 
also forgot to add blinds, which wouldn't be a problem, except you weirdos like to watch me on the toilet. Okay, so coming up these stairs, we then have our office, which is up here. It's kind of a little office, but that's all we need, really. Finally, we have my bedroom, which honestly, I think is definitely my favorite room. Okay, what's going on up here? There, Look at all these. How did you even get up here? <laughs> look at all these people at my window. There's no privacy. How did you get up here? My favorite thing about this room is definitely the reading nook, which is over here. I love adding reading nooks. Oh, hi, mac and cheese. Anyway, would you guys like to come in and see my creation? Arrive. House party. Hey. This is a European household. I expect you all to take off your shoes, please. So yeah, that was me building a Bloxburg house, except I cannot delete anything. Um, what is this? Okay, who done this? Who done this? Was it you? Anyway, it was really fun having you guys on the server while I build, so I may potentially do that again in the future. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel to participate in future videos like this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!